Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ilan Schneider and Miao Lu. This is a game from the Magnus Academy Challenge Tournament 2022. And this is a blitz game. Schneider had white pieces and he started with e4. Lu played c5, the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Dmitinov Rosolimo attack, knight to f6, e5, knight to d5, Schneider castle kingside, knight to c7, attacking the bishop, bishop takes knight on c6, d takes on c6, c3, preparing d4, Bishop to g4, pinning the knight, asking a question, bishop to h5, keeping the pin, rook to e1, knight to e6, discouraging d4, g4, these moves can be risky sometimes, bishop to g6, d4, c takes on d4, c takes on d4, black to move, how would you continue? Perhaps queen to d7 and castling queenside comes to mind. Lou played h5, attacking with Harry. This is definitely a sharp move and a good one. Knight to c3, h takes on g4, h takes on g4. Black to move, queen to d7, intending to castle queenside. Even better is queen to b6, and if now d5, then queen to b4. Back to our game, queen to d7 was played, intending to castle queen's side, but now d5, black to move, knight to c5. If c takes on d5, queen takes on d5. Knight to c5 was played, it is white to move, and white has only one good move available in this position, and that is e6. This move is turning the tables. f takes on e6, and now knight to e5. White is now standing much better. Queen to d6, eyeing h2 square. White to move. This is very important moment of the game. Should white play d takes on e6, or d takes on c6? In the game we have, this is a blunder, let's take it back. d6 was a way to go. If now knight to d3, then c takes on b7, and after rook to b8, queen to a4 check, white stands better. Back to our game. d takes on e6, and player with the black pieces play this very clever move. Knight to d3. Let's take it back. If queen takes queen, the rook takes queen, after bishop to h7, knight to f7, white stands better. Back to our game. So, knight to d3, definitely the best move. Knight takes on d3, and now queen to h2, check. King to f1, black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Play with the black pieces, Lou played queen to h3, check. Castling queenside was by far the best move. Almost winning. Back to our game. Queen to h3, check. King to e2, queen takes on g4, check. f3, black to move. Queen to g2, check. Let's take it back. Rook to h2, check, should have been considered this is better than check with the queen but with only seconds on the clock player with the black pieces played queen to g2 check knight to f2 and our rook to h2 threatening to capture the knight how would you defend the knight what would you do in this position if you had white pieces this is how player with the white pieces defended the knight he defended the knight with the queen, just like this. Queen to d7, check, mate. Sometimes we are consumed with the attack 
that we forget the safety of our own king. Did it ever happen to you? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.